Hello. I had a really good thought. I had a thought about, you know how people come to your house? I mean, maybe not these days that much because of the restrictions. But generally, when people come, we ask them, would you love a drink? And when you're pouring water, think about pouring a laugh. Like, whomever you meet during the day, whenever they... And I don't just mean coming to your house. I mean, generally, whenever you meet anyone, think about pouring a glass of laugh. And this came to me through thinking, what would you love? Peggy teaches us all the time. What would you love? What would you love? We need to ask. Sometimes you might find yourself in a situation where, you know, that is not the first question that pops up, but please use that. That really, really, really works. And now I'm using a lot saying, what would love do? You know, you find yourself in a challenging situation, which is an opportunity to grow. Remember that. But what would love do well love could do nothing but laugh couldn't re have any other response than love and if we treat everybody we meet during the day anyway even by text emails all the times as pouring them a glass of love and you imagine this i'm actually physically imagining that i'm sending them a love and you can shine the light you just stay in such a good vibration. It is just amazing. And that really, when I was swimming this morning, which you can see I've got the wild hair, um, I thought, I was, as I was swimming, you know, I was like all the waves coming, some people passing you and, you know, it splashes in your face. And I thought about Neil's analogy, Neil Donald Walsh, when he was talking about being a wave in the ocean, where God is a creator and of ocean, and then you're a wave. Now, we might be a calm wave or we might be um, a wild wave, but you are part of the ocean. It doesn't matter. You have a choice what you do, whether you're wild or calm, so, but you're still not going to be separated. You are just part of the ocean all the time. So I think while you can experience a storm or a calm sea or playful sea, whatever it is, it's just the journey and if you're enjoying, if you find the joy in every moment and everything you do, and now I don't even mean just the joyful things, but find the joy in things which you may find challenging and appreciate them. Because I really believe now with my awareness at this point right now, we are being sent all the challenges to be moving forward and upward if we so choose. And with the great attitude of thinking, what am I supposed to learn right now from this experience? And how can I actually go through this experience enjoying it? And if it's really challenging, just don't give it any energy. And it will just sort, so many times actually, it sorts itself out on its own. And I'll see you on Monday. Bye.